Hi, I'm Hannah from Gretna High School and I'm a junior. Hanahaki disease, a fictional disorder popularized in Jap Japanese culture that suggests flowers of grief can grow in the lungs of a person who falls in love with someone who doesn't love them back. Two weeks into loving you, you text me first, sending a swarm of butterflies through my stomach. I could feel it happening before it even began, and I know I am lost to you. The petals start to form, suffocating my every thought. You were kind, too kind to someone like me. Your kindness has doomed me, do but do not mistake the acceptance of my looming mortality for regret, because I regret nothing. The silk that caresses my throat with every breath, I smile when I see the first petal fall from my lips. The white of an orchid, your favorite. The very meaning of your innocence and grace a month into loving you. And you start to bring me along your weekly jaunts with friends, friends who question why you waste your time with me. And in that moment, I know I am past the point of no return. I am powerless to forget the way your arms felt around me how warm you felt against the unending cold of night, comforting me in the face of my unworthiness. I sit in my room, surrounding by the petals that escape with every heaving breath, and I smile. The blades of white that surround me, speckled with red blood, which destroys any thoughts of my feelings fading, I know I would rather die than forget you. So I let the petals prevent my breath. I let the sickness consume me for you. Two months into loving you, I start getting looks, knowing side eyes laced with pity. They give me a wide berth, but not you. You shout and yell and demand to know who, who I am willing to die for, who I can give my entire life to. You ask me to remove it, for me to willingly forget, and all I do is laugh. Laugh at the idea of removing you. Just the thought makes my heart hurt. I turn to you with a smile on my face, and I lie. Still not removing the pained look in your eye, I hate hurting you, but it is infinitely better than losing you. I tell you that it's not a big deal, only a crush. I can tell you doubt me. You look at the purest of white consumed by red collecting by my floor, and you cry. You cry and tell me, of all people, that you love me that you loved me since you held me against the cold of the night. I stand there, stunned, unmoving, until you start to shake and cough with the ferocity of your emotions and a single petal escapes your lips, the purple of a lilac, my favorite. <laughs>